Nobly just woke up from her nap and it is still really dreary outside and cold so I thought tonight would be a really good night to make some mini chicken pot pies. We have some really cute ramekins and I've been looking for a use for them and I just felt like a hankering for chicken pot pie. So I have all the ingredients that I showed you guys earlier along with about a cup and a half or one chicken breast cut into finely diced pieces. And then I'm also gonna use some whole wheat flour for the roux that I'm gonna make. So just keep on watching and I'll show you guys how we do that. So you're gonna to wanna to start off with melting four tablespoons of unsalted butter in medium heat. I had my heat up entirely too high in this clip. As you can see, it's turning brown. You don't want that. Then you're gonna to wanna to mix in four tablespoons of flour at a low pace to make your roux. I'm using whole wheat flour, but you can definitely use whatever flour you want. Keep in mind that if you use coconut flour, it is gonna dry it up a lot. Once I get a nice browning on the roux, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken broth. This is a free range organic chicken broth and you're gonna to wanna to add in a total of two cups and I add one cup at a time in between and I just let it thicken up. And a lot of this is gonna be stirring, you guys. So I spent a lot of time stirring this dish and just waiting for it to thicken up. You're gonna to wanna to season it with however you like. I use the McCormick salt, I use some pepper, I use some uh, chili or some kind of spicy. Yes, chili powder is what I used here. You can definitely use cayenne pepper if that's more your jam. And then I also used some garlic powder and onion powder. After you get the roux nice and thick, you're gonna wanna add in four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and this just gives it a really nice, rich and creamy consistency, and it's so good. Next, I just added in a cup of this frozen peas and carrot mix. If you like your vegetables fresh, by all means, go ahead and cut them fresh. This is just nice and quick for me. Then I'm gonna add in that chopped potato. I did three chopped potatoes. And then this is about a pound and a half of chicken breast. And I'm just gonna stir that all in and let this simmer on the stove top and cook down so that that chicken is no longer pink. I think this takes about, I don't know, I'd say between eight and 10 minutes. I'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic in there as well. Once that's all done cooking, I'm going to go ahead and empty the contents of my pan into a dish and I'm going to cover it with tin foil and I'm going to let this chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. This is my first time ever using a pastry puff and I'm not going to lie to you, I do not own a rolling pin at all. So what do I do? I had to get creative y'all. So I just used this glass bottle that I had to flatten it out. I used a larger ramekin that I had to cut out the tops of the chicken pot pies and voila, it turned out actually pretty easy, which was kind of nice. And then I did use the reserve to just flatten it out and make more. So then I'm gonna empty the contents into these little ramekins. I've got, I think I have six four ounce servings and then I've got one six ounce serving ramekin. I'm gonna do take a little bit of egg wash and put that around the sides of the ramekin so that the breading doesn't stick. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay the pastry puffs on top. This next step is optional, but I love me some cheese, so I did add in some shredded extra sharp cheese before I put on the pastry puffs. You're gonna wanna make sure that you create slits in the top of these so that it doesn't boil over or pop while it's in the oven. So I just took a knife and I did little slits in the tops of the crust and then I took that egg wash and I put that on the tops of them. And then I just go ahead and line a parchment sheet, a parchment lined baking sheet and I went ahead and put these on top and I put it in a heated oven 350 degrees and I baked these for 20 minutes. I did crank up the heat to a broil for the last two minutes that these guys were in the oven just to ensure that I had a nice golden brown crust on top and voila, they turned out absolutely perfect. They were delicious, the pastry puffs were nice and flaky and everything just reminded me of when I was growing up and it was just really nostalgic. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you would consider clicking the subscribe and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day, evening and week. Bye. Thank you.